Hey y'all and welcome to Our Great House. My name is Lisa and in today's video I'm going to be showing you five different crafts that I made for under five dollars each. It is part of a challenge. I don't know what my cats are doing. Calm down. <laughs> so it's part of a challenge video and we'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a second. But first let's do a craft. DIY number one. I am using a Dollar Tree dish towel, so it cost me a dollar, and I'm using this yarn that is from the Hobby Lobby. I think it was $3.99, but it was like 30 or 40% off when I purchased it. I am just kind of squaring everything up and making sure that the logo on each side of that dish towel is matching up, cutting off the excess, and then I'm gonna be putting right sides together because I'm gonna be making a little pillow. I'm going to be adding tassels to all four corners of that pillow and of course whenever there's yarn captain's going to be around and so i'm wrapping it around this little cardboard template about 20 times and then i'm going to tie it off at the top and then i'm going to take it off the template and then add a piece of yarn to make it more like look like a tassel to make a tassel it's not looking like one it is one So then I cut the other, I made the other tassels off camera and here's where I am messing up. I'm gluing the tassels going outward. This is not how you do it. Please do not do like me because then I had to go back and I had to cut down this, to get rid of the tassels, I had to cut it down even more. So now it's making it much smaller than I was hoping for and yeah, looking a little little sad little tiny pillow but it's okay it wasn't that much that I cut off so I'm gluing the tassels in the corners but I'm gluing them facing with the tassels going inward and now I'm just putting some hot glue down the side because now I'm going to glue it together and hopefully well not hopefully I'm going to form a pillow I'm going to be gluing all sides down and almost the the, the last side I'm almost gluing it all the way down now I'm turning it inside out and carefully the, the glue sticks really well but you know just I'm not trying to be rough and savage with it and then I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree bags look at me reduce reuse recycle I'm using that as stuffing for my pillow now it comes apart to glue that last little section I'm turning it inwards and very carefully going to be putting some hot glue down so that I can make it stick and using my little silicone utensils when I need to so I don't burn myself. And this is how it turned out. While it's cute and I'm, I'm happy with it, I think pom-poms might even look better on it. And also if it had been a little bit larger, I think I would have been happier with it. But all in all, spent about two bucks on this. As I mentioned before, wow. So earlier, <laughs> the landscape guys were here petting my grass and now my husband's power washing, so thank you, honey, for power washing, <laughs> but also I'm trying to do a voiceover, so I'm sorry, but you're going to hear a real life happening in the background. So today's video is part of a challenge, and it is hosted by Missy from Crafty Cove DIY and Emily from Farm Charm Chic, and it's co-hosted this time by Devin from Freckled Mom DIY. And as you know, all the links to their channels will be in the description box below, as well as a link to the entire playlist so you can see what everybody else created. He's still power washing. DIY number two. So this one is just a little plain sign. I'd seen it on a tear tray on Etsy and it says, <laughs> oh my gosh, good grave y'all. It says, it's going to say Good Eats. But anyway, I got this sign from the Dollar Tree, so I spent a dollar. <laughs> oh, hold on. So I spent a dollar. Anyway, I had trouble dismantling it, to say the least. But I did cut out the words Good Eats from a Cricut, and I painted the base white. I'm painting the frame with my favorite Rosalium Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Charcoal. You guys know I love that color. That and the linen white are my faves. Anyways, so I'm painting the frame black. And I'm just, all you have to do now is just add the little sign to it and it's done. It's a simple little decor piece, but it'll look cute on a tiered tray. DIY number three. 
This is actually a double-sided sign. On the back is the lemon decor stuff that I did a few weeks back. And on this side is watermelon. I got the house shape from Dollar Tree. It was a dollar. And the paper I got from Hobby Lobby and it was on sale, you know, 50% off. So it was like a quarter, 30 cents, maybe max. And I'm just gluing it to some scrap foam board that I had on hand. And now I'm gonna cut out with my X-Acto knife the shape of a couple of the watermelons. And I wanna kinda have like a 3D effect on top of the sign. And then I cut out some, I take some twine and it says, hello, sweet summer. And I just used my Cricut to, to print that out. And I'm adding a little bow, I'm adding the watermelon, and I'm adding two beads on each side of the tail of the bow to create the sign. I think it turned out pretty cute. I don't really have an estimate, but I know it was less than $5 because I mostly used things on hand. DIY number four. So this DIY is probably one of my favorites. It's using leftover bottle caps. So when you pop open a cold one, you're gonna have some bottle caps, save those. I just spray painted all of mine white. And then I went back in with a turquoise color and a bright yellow color to do three in the turquoise, three in the bright yellow, and then I'm gonna leave the center just white. I am making a flower. I just think this is a cute idea and a fun idea and a, way, a great way to, you know, reuse things that you ordinarily would just throw away or recycle. I'm also painting this little dowel that I had on hand. I'm painting it green to look like the stem of the flower. And now I'm trying to line everything up, putting a gobs of glue, gobs and gobs of glue, it feels like. And so I want everything to stick and be stable. And then I'm putting the flower petals, gluing all that again using gobs and gobs of glue to make sure that everything stays together. I am using actually Christmas garland um, for my grass and it looks like grass because Captain was trying to eat it. And that's how it turned out. I think it's super cute. I did go back and add some little polka dots to the, the flower, but I think it turned out really pretty cute. DIY number five. In this DIY, I'm using that foam board that I used to scrap from earlier and I'm cutting out X's and then I'm also cutting out O's using a ring from a uh, mason jar. Anyway, cutting all of those out with my X-Acto knife and then I'm adding some fun paper I got the circle paper is just a denim print from Hobby Lobby. And again, I got it on sale. The X's are going to be this really super cute gingham, red gingham mater uh, material pattern. I don't know. Pattern, I guess. <laughs> again, I got those from the Hobby Lobby, so they were less than a quarter piece. Maybe 30 cents? I don't know. Now that I have them all cut out, I'm gluing them together. And Captain is supervising because that's what he does best. He's trying to mess with the camera. He likes to scratch his chin with the camera, um, the arm of the camera. <laughs> but I guess maybe if I scratched him more, he wouldn't have to do that. So now that I have all of the paper glued to the foam board, I'm gonna add some jute twine around the edges just to give it, I don't know, kind of like a fun country rustic look. I don't know, I'm going for the backyard theme. So I thought this looked good together. And I'm adding the sunflowers to the middle of the circles just to give it a pop of color. And I think they look happy. And this is how they turned out. Now this particular tic-tac-toe board, my dad made, and he made it using paint sticks. We got them from Lowe's. I forget how many in total he had to use. My dad's a little extra, so he didn't just glue everything together. He kind of, not dovetailed, I don't know what the cut is, like notched the wood a little bit, so that way it would fit like in between each other. I'm kind of trying to show you how it is anyway. He also put some backing on the back of it so that it was resting on a counter or a table or something like that. It would um, not scratch the surface or anything like that. And this is how the pieces all turned out and how they look together. This is not how I'm styling this tier tray, but I wanted to show you all the projects in today's video in one spot. I hope you liked them and let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite.
Thank y'all so much for joining me today and watching my video. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed the pieces that I shared with you. And thanks for being patient while the power washing was going on. Sometimes life happens. <laughs> but anyway, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Great House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye.